Tell people why they should subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because you're really good at what you do. Like, how so? Like, name some good traits. Uh, the way you take care of yourself. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, you're very passionate about what you do. Yeah. That is very... Yeah. That That's probably the most about you. No. Uh -oh. Is that you're passionate and you love to help people. Thanks, Mom. What about... So why should they hire me as, a, as their fitness coach, though? Well, because you offer... <laughs> Good advice. What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. Keep going. I know. You offer good advice, okay? And um, you've researched a lot. You know a lot of the answers. You know what works. You know what doesn't because you've struggled with that yourself. You guys listening? That's words of wisdom right there. I'm telling you. Shout out to my dad. Dad, I know you're watching this, but man, why you got to bring these into the house, man? You know I'm trying to go 93.7 mode. What's up with that? What's up with We also got, what else we got here? Oh yeah, where they at? Oh, where the where those Hershey bars go? He take them to work. Oh, these things, like my favorite things ever. <laughs> like gas station donuts. These are the best pop tarts, and there's literally no debate. I don't care what you have to say. I put something on uh, Instagram or, or Twitter a couple days ago. I'm like weight loss hack. All your trigger foods. Eat those with your significant other so that when you break up, they'll be so traumatic to uh, to you that you won't have, they won't be trigger foods anymore. Like, cause I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> my parents keep these red jelly beans out and my ex used to eat them all the time and we used to be like, yeah, they're just so good. Now they're not even tempting to me. So that's a little hack for you. <laughs> if, if you're struggling with, the, if you got a weakness, just share it with the boyfriend or girlfriend. And then, you know, when you guys break up, I'm not sad. Hey, I'm not. I'm just being real. When you guys break up, you'll be too traumatic to eat. Nope. That's really good. What is up, you guys? It's Anthony Munda. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Really appreciate your support, as always. And also, I want to mention, thank you for the love recently on all the videos, your comments, your likes, all my new subscribers. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you guys, every time you guys reach out to me. I I'm really in this for you guys. I know I'm showing my journey and I, I never want it to be about me though. I want you to take what I do and just try to apply it to your own journey. So I try to I try to you know give as much value as I can. So if you ever feel like I'm not doing that, call me out on it. Um, but I just wanna let it be known that like I appreciate every single one of you guys watching because I know how I am. I'm very selective with the people I watch on YouTube because it takes time out of your day and you want to surround your, you know, you want good vibes. So if you're taking time out of your day to watch me, I really appreciate that. And I appreciate every single person who supported me along my journey. Um, a few people that I want to mention that I haven't mentioned before. Number one, my parents. Um, everything that I'm able to do is strictly because of them. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely, extremely appreciative of them and what they've done through for me throughout my whole entire life. Today's video is a Q&A, and before I want to get in, or before I get into that, I want to address, um, man, I'm about to work out after this. I really don't feel like working out either. That's why I'm drinking on this. Um, man, I've, I've had to talk myself into working out for a couple hours. But anyway, a little update on my 93.7 mode on my cut right now. Um, I'm in week two, so like nine, ten days in. Nothing crazy has happened yet, and I think that's a good point to make. Uh, when you first start a diet and you first start your weight loss journey, there isn't going to be anything uh, magical or special. Like you're not going to notice like changes in measurements in the mirror, really in the scale at all. Like I've lost like one pound. Um, it accumulates over time, right? You can't look at just the first couple weeks, but it's going well. Don't really feel like I'm into my groove yet, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. But um, documented on here is holding me hella accountable. So again, I appreciate you guys. Uh, but everything's going good. Like I said, don't really feel like working out today. I got legs. Uh, my gym closes at nine. It's like about seven now. Yikes. That's why I'm drinking this. Like I've had to talk myself into it for a couple hours, but I figured I'd just sit down and talk to you guys. Probably get me motivated. But the first question I want to address is probably what the title is going to be in the thumbnail and all that is skinny fat. So I've dealt with this in the past. It's a terrible thing. It's very frustrating. So if you're dealing with this right now, I empathize with you. Uh, I know everyone has different, you know, intricacies on their journey and what they look like and what they feel like but being skinny fat so for those of you who don't know that's being so you're not at a level of leanness that you're happy with but you don't also don't hold a lot of muscle you're kind of like in the middle okay so to cut to the chase 
you you need to uh, my recommendation would be to get leaner first and i know that's scary because for a lot of people they don't hold a lot of muscle when they feel like that but the problem the problem is if you try to put on weight or if you try to start bulking when you're skinny fat you're think about it you're already uncomfortable with your level of leanness so once you start gaining weight you're just going to go right back to where you started so you first need to get comfortable with your level of leanness that's the number one thing um, also if you're a beginner if, like if you're starting from scratch if this is day one you can do both build muscle and uh, burn fat at the same time simply because it's a new stimulus to your body weight training and you know more you know formulated nutrition and all that but if you've been in the game for you know a year or so you got to pick one it's like losing fat and trying to burn or or burning fat and trying to build muscle at the same time is like trying to look left and right at the same time like you're not going to get anywhere um, so that's the first thing I want to address. So it really depends on your physique, where you're at in your journey. But for most people, I suggest getting lean first. Answer a couple of uh, personal ones here. I don't know if you guys care about that, but anyway, how old are you? I'm 23. I was born September 18th, 1995. So about to be 24 soon, getting old. Yeah, that's crazy to say. Are you in a relationship? No, I am not. Um, no. <laughs> I'm busy. Um, but that's also an excuse. I just, just don't want to be in one right now. It's plain and simple. Um, yeah. <laughs> Safe to say. I'm going to do like half before I work out and like half after. Um, again, just going to sip on. This is really good, by the way. 3D. This is Christian Guzman's uh, company, by the way. It's really good. This is like a, like, they don't even come in flavors, it's just colors. This is my first time having it. I'll try to describe the flavor for you guys. It's like similar to a white monster, but a little more taste and a little bit less carbonation. So I do actually prefer this uh, because white monsters, I feel like they bloat me. That's another thing today, man. I just feel so bloated. Like, I don't, like, I don't know. Like, you. I, I want to make it a point to you guys that I'm not just raring to go work out and feel 100% every single day. Like, I just don't feel like, I don't know, I don't feel like a fitness guy today. So, I want to make that clear. I don't I don't have good days every single day. Not that I'm having a bad day. I just don't feel like, I don't know, I don't feel awesome. But, uh, oh, this is a good one. Five-year goals or where do you where do you see yourself in five years' time? <sighs> oh, I probably should have seen... I probably should have thought about the answer before I just read that because I'm reading I have no clue. Five years? <sighs> See, I, I struggle with this thing where I try to stay in the present, but I'm also a very, I'm a type A person, so I like to plan. I like to think ahead of time and, and whatnot. Basically in five years, so as you guys know, I'm trying to build up my coaching business right now. Anything, link in the description. <laughs> but I also work as a physical therapist assistant. So I kind of do half and half juggle, which is really cool right now. I get a lot of good experience from both. I'm a young guy, so I'm not trying to like optimize every single every single dollar right now. Like I'm trying to experience the most and I don't know, making money is cool, but for me right now, it's more about value and like what I can learn and what I can build and how I can grow as an individual and a professional as well. Just, just get better at everything basically. Um, but basically I want to transition, you know, I don't want to do physical therapy anymore. I, uh, that's what I went to school for. I thought I liked it. I don't mind it. I just don't love it. I love the fitness stuff. You guys know that. Um, there's nothing wrong with physical therapy. I I work at a nursing home. I love those patients. I love the people I work with, but I just don't want to do it the rest of my life. I think a lot of people can relate to that. So I want to go full time with my coaching. That's like the number one thing. Uh, number two, I really want to build up my YouTube because um, that will allow me to reach more people, reach a more broad like audience and whatnot. And also, I want to I want to do that like full time, that and like coaching. Um, but also, recently, I thought of uh, like a clothing line. Uh, I really do. I like clothing. I like activewear, and I've I've always had like the, my own ideas like in my head. I know there's a lot out there. It's very saturated, and everyone wants their own clothing line. I understand that, but I figure if I can, you know, you know, continue to to build my my business and, and my my presence I hate to say that I don't really mean that I think of you guys as just as like friends as supporters not like followers but um, I want to start an awesome movement like with a 
with a clothing line. Maybe not even just clothing, like other things. So that's that's another thing. So the coaching full time, uh, YouTube full time, and uh, clothing line. I've also have like a couple other business ideas. I, I get pretty ambitious, especially like late at night in the shower, you know, all that good stuff. I think we're all like that, but I have some really good ideas. Why are you so sexy? That was a question. I was like, hey man, I don't know. I got I got two good looking parents, what can I say? Uh, all right, anyway, that was about half of them there. I'm gonna finish this. I feel my mood just, just better now after talking to you guys, after sipping on this a little bit. That's a little tip. If you ever don't feel like you're, you ever don't feel like working out, put your workout clothes on, which I did, because if you put them on and you don't go, you're gonna feel like a fool taking them off and you're probably gonna be a little bit pissed at yourself and you're not really gonna take them off, right? And then just start sipping on caffeine, okay? So number one, you're gonna start to, mood's gonna be a little better. Um, and you're not going to want to waste a, a scoop of pre-workout or an energy drink. So uh, lay your clothes out, change in your workout clothes, sip on some pre-workout. Did I already say that? I don't even know. My heart's going a little, my heart's doing that like, it's jumping a little bit. But anyway, I'm about to work out. I'll catch you guys after. We'll finish up this Q&A. Oh, all right. I no glasses. I just got back from the gym, had a little post-workout meal. Not the best workout. Hey man, it's okay. Not every workout's gonna be awesome. Just showing up, go, doing a little bit, better than nothing, okay? Take it from me, you're not gonna crush your workout every single time. If you have that expectations, you're gonna be very disappointed, but you can nail showing up to every single workout. That is the key. All right, next question here. This is an awesome question. <clears throat> Were you counting macros before the cut? you started or were you eating intuitively? Okay, so now I'm counting, right now on my cut, I'm counting calories and protein and I'm, I'm letting the rest of my calories uh, fall in as they may. So I'm not worried about fats and carbs. So I have a calorie target, which is 2,600 and a protein target, which is 180 grams to 200, to 200 grams per day. Before I started my cut, I was eating intuitively. I'm able to do that and maintain a relatively lean physique simply because I counted calories and macros for so long. And that's why I actually recommend that everyone do that at some point in their fitness or weight loss journey because it gives you an idea of what foods are high calorie, what foods are low calorie, what foods you know kind of have different serving sizes than you would think. Like cereal is a really good one. Like if you pour a bowl, it's likely you're eating two or three servings, or peanut butter, of course. It's likely that you're eating two or three servings, but if you're weighing everything, if you're tracking macros, if you're tracking calories, you start to understand that stuff, which gives you the, it, it allows you to eyeball things. So you can look at a plate and kind of guesstimate the amount of calories. And then once you're able to eyeball and guesstimate, you can slightly overestimate every single meal and then you can maintain a relatively lean physique. That's like the ultimate goal. And I'm fortunate enough to be there. I don't guess every single meal perfect, but I'm able to do so pretty accurately simply because I've been doing this for quite some time. What do you think about combining boxing with weightlifting? So I think it's awesome. Now, of course, if you're asking me, you know that body composition and slash bodybuilding is you know my main focus. So I will tell you that um, that's not the best overall thing for fat loss. The best thing for fat loss would be to dial in your nutrition and to uh, weight train because then if your nutrition's on point and if you're weight training, you're gonna look the best aesthetically. That means your body composition is gonna be how you want it. Uh, boxing won't do that for you, but it will burn calories. Now I will say the most important thing that you can do for yourself is find things that you enjoy doing because if you don't, you're not gonna keep going back to it. So if weightlifting and boxing are things that you enjoy, keep doing it. If yoga is something you enjoy, keep doing it. Running, biking, walking, swimming, any activity. You don't have to just lift weights, but it is optimal, but uh, not everyone wants to, and that's totally okay, I understand that. Find something you like. Uh, do I like the idea of weightlifting and boxing? I think that's very functional. I think you'll be strong from weightlifting and very, because uh, boxing is very uh, strenuous, like cardiovascular activity. So I, th I actually love the idea of that, but you wanna make sure that your nutrition is on point first because those are two taxing things. You don't wanna neglect your nutrition. What happened to the podcast? 
Okay, so for those of you, <clears throat> excuse me, for those of you who don't know, uh, Kyle and I, my buddy who I kind of helped go out and start his weight loss journey, we started a podcast called the Body Transformation Podcast. Uh, basically, with that, there's no reason that we don't do it anymore. There isn't a reason that we stopped or anything. Uh, I, I feel like both of us just kind of got busy. Basically, that's it. And, uh, you know, we have diff different priorities and other priorities. My main priority became uh, building my business and getting more coaching clients and trying to get my name out there that way. And Kyle had a lot of stuff going on with school, family, um, and things like that. He's finished up his, his college degree, so I'm super proud of him for that. We don't have any like bad blood or we don't have any reason that we actually stopped. We just don't do it anymore. I, I am looking to... Here's, a, here's what I really struggle with. I'm going to be so transparent with you guys like always. I struggle with what to like put my time into because uh, before this, I was going really hard on Instagram, which is cool. Um, and then now I'm kind of going harder on YouTube. So... It's hard to balance everything, and plus you got to keep in mind that I got to attend to my clients, and I work as well as a PTA. Well, so my time's not very limited. I'm not gonna box myself in like that because I am fortunate enough to uh, do my own thing most of the time. But like, do you would you guys interest be interested in like a reboot of the podcast, but like just me? Because it it was another thing with it just honesty, and Kyle knows this too. It's hard to to. Uh, coordinate your schedule with, with two adults like it was extremely hard to number one we have to schedule uh guests so we have to coordinate them with my time and then kyle's time and then both of our times and we have to it's like a triangle of so that's kind of hard so would you guys be interested in like a reboot of like a podcast with just me interviewing guests or just you know talking off the top of my head or something like that let me know um but my favorite form of content right now for you guys to give value to you guys is youtube i think that the, the value in that is that through video, we can really, like, there's a personal connection uh, as opposed to, like, Instagram where I feel like I'm just, like, giving you, like, facts and, like, information. But here, you can kind of understand my personality and where I'm coming from, uh, who I really am. That's why a lot of the a lot of you who've re reached out recently have said, like, you know, keep doing your thing. Um, you know, you mentioned that you... You like my personality. You, you said I'm not trying to be someone that I'm not. And that's what I feel like too. And I think that's what YouTube allows me to do is to really connect with you guys. And that's kind of the whole point of this whole thing, right? So um, enjoy YouTube a lot right now. But I also did like doing the podcast. So if that would be something you'd be interested, let me know. <laughs> it's, do you like swimming? Um, not really. Like, not really. I don't like swimming. Like, I'd, I'd rather just lay in the pool and chill, get a nice tan, maybe have a nice little, you know, margarita in my hand. Um, not really. I, I really don't even like drinking. I don't know why I said that. Probably just would be cool, but not really. <laughs> um, really just to just chilling in the pool, not really swimming. I don't know. I was that, that funny story. I'm sure you guys can relate. I was always that kid with the shirt on in the pool when I was younger. Like, I remember... Uh, my friend's parents and like even like some of my friend's babysitters being like oh don't don't be bashful just take a shirt off I'm like no like I I do not want to do that right now and I have some I would like wear my shirt to the to the pool take it off throw it on the deck and then as soon as I got out I would like grab it cover myself in the towel and put it back on so it'd be very like very minimal and try to like stay under the water in the pool man come on that's that's sad that wraps up today's Q&A. Um, yeah, I really enjoy, I, I, I like the Q&As, you know, kind of get some back and forth and again, really connect with you guys. So again, appreciate every single one of you who asked me a question because without you guys, it wouldn't be possible, obviously. So I appreciate all of you guys. Thanks for following my journey. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Thanks for, you know, sharing your time with me. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon.